Okay, now in this next video for iOS 7, we're going to go over the new additions of mail. Now we're using my personal email account, so um, yeah, try not to uh, steal my stuff on here. <laughs> but um, for the most part, it's very similar. Again, um, the biggest thing you'll notice with iOS 7 is how they've removed a lot of the buttons. Before, all the back button was... Uh, it was actual an actual button. The edit was an actual button, and that's one of the things they've done with iOS 7 is remove buttons and triggers and things like that because they've come to realize that we're smarter than uh, what they recognize, and we just can use different devices. Um, we can figure out how to use these things without um, without needing buttons. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You press edit, you can go through and delete emails just like you did before. Color scheme's a little bit different, but as you can see, it's not longer a trash button, but it's a trash, uh, just, it says trash on there. So I can go on here and hit here and here and hit trash. So as you can see, it, the animations look very similar. Um, and what the biggest notice is that, see how it says just updated now, or updated just now, I should say. Well, the news thing is that uh, you can, actually import more than the just 50 photos. So you wake up in the morning and you have 75 emails, it will actually download all 75 new emails instead of downloading 50, deleting them, then downloading another 50. Which is, I mean, it's a little bit more convenient. Uh, and then now the next thing is you'll see it's a, a unified search bar. So now when you search for something, uh, let's just, I know I, this is going to come up for me, but it all comes up from Apple. Um, so, and you click on current mailbox or you can click on all mailboxes. So this will, all your mail that you have throughout the, if let's say you have five different email addresses, it will actually look in all mailboxes or you can just the current mailbox you're in. Uh, so that's just a little bit different. I, I think I like, I like it a lot better. It makes it easier to kind of search with what you're looking for and that type of thing. Um, the next thing is, um, well, this is just your messages where your email message will be. Uh, who it's from, where it's to, you can hide that, um, or you can click more and it'll come back. Um, once again, you can click on compose and it will bring up a new message just like it did before and it will automatically bring it from whoever, from whatever email that you're logged into. So let's say you know, if you have four different emails and you're checking your email under email number four, it will come from email number four. Unless you click on here, then you can change whichever one you want it to be from. So pretty straightforward there, you type in two, and you could test, I'm going to hit mom, and then my mom will come up. So just like before, you can type it, it's all basic, it's all very similar, or you can go over here, click the plus button, and go through all your different contacts. Um, now that's pretty much it for here. Another cool thing, this is also in iOS set, uh, 6, but it's a little bit different. If you click and hold on the compose button in the top right, it will actually ask you whether you want to do a new message or it might not do it because I don't think I have any drafts with this, but it will actually where you can see the spinning wheel. That is actually where you will pull up old drafts. So let's, I'm going to show you how that works. So go back, we'll go to my base, my normal email and it'll click on, click on that, click on the compose button again and figures it's not working for me because I've got a terrible internet connection where I'm at, but uh, you guys will get the idea. If you click and hold on the compose button, instead of just tapping it, it brings up a new message. If you tap and hold, it will actually bring up your drafts. So all through here under this, it will show your drafts. Another thing, this is reply. So reply for print, trash, deletes the email. You can go to, um, we'll go back to your Mac helpers. Um, you can change folders so you can move this into any folders that you want. It, I might hit cancel or you can hit flag. Uh, flag is unread or move to junk. Once again, pretty straightforward. Another cool thing is when you're here, hello everybody. You can click and select a word, double tap. And you could change, it brings up a lot more different functions. So you can change bold, italics, underline. Um, another thing is uh, you could define the word quote level, which you can have indent. So that's if like you want to uh, show somebody that you're doing something a little bit different. Um, or you can go ahead and insert a photo or video. So you can go to camera roll. And then you can click on here. 
And let's say you wanted to send a picture of the new game that I'm super addicted to is Plants vs. Zombies. So you can click Views and it'll put it right in there. Um, so that's pretty much it. You can go ahead and save the draft or delete it. But that's pretty much it for mail. I mean, pretty straightforward as you can see. Um, very similar. Um, up here on this top part is just going to be your inboxes. When you go down here, you can actually look at the different things. So on mine, uh, there's my personal email account, but I've got a bunch of different things. Um, from my real estate to uh, my cell phone case that I'm designing to just different uh, different folders and things like that. But it's pretty straightforward. I mean, you, you'll get the picture. It's um, jumping from iOS 6 to iOS 7. You're not going to notice much, except it's just a little bit different in terms of layout and how it works. But you'll you'll enjoy it. I after the first few days, I wasn't sure, but after using it, I enjoy iOS 7 a lot more. Thanks, and check out the next video. Don't want to go in,